Okay, so we're going to perform a normal engine start now on the PT6 550 shaft horsepower LX7-20. And the first thing we want to do is verify our bleed air is off, so we'll make sure bleed air is off. Everything is pushed in here. These are counterclockwise. We don't probably want our seat heaters on, so we'll leave those in neutral. Make sure the AC is off and all of our electrical switches are off except we will turn our strobe lights on just to alert people around us that we are going to start the engine. Uh, we then bring up the engine page on the MFD and we check our battery voltage. We have at least 26 volts there, that's good. And uh, so what we'll do uh, is just a normal start procedure. We're gonna hold down the starter uh, button during the entire start. Uh, so we'll hold down the starter when we see 10% on our gas generator speed, or NG, we will select the igniters to on. And uh, we have already pre-validated the igni igniters are, are working uh, in our pre-flight inspection. So 10% igniters on, then we're gonna wait for 19%. At 19%, we're gonna begin a countdown from five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. We will introduce fuel uh, by bringing the condition lever up from the detent or up from its cutoff position to the detent and uh, I'm going to do that here just to show us what that looks like we can see that both fuel pumps are running and we have good fuel pressure no fuel flow right now because the engine is not turning uh, when the engine is turning this will introduce fuel to the engine and start the uh, or initiate the start sequence um, so if anything goes crazy during our start, our temperatures are rising too fast or the uh, gas generator speed is just not accelerating, we will pull this back to cutoff and continue to hold down the start button. That's key because we want to continue to push uh, that fuel air mixture out of the engine and we'll do that with the starter motor uh, if we have an aborted start. So once again, starter button down, 10%, igniters on, 19%, countdown from five, at the at zero we go fuel to the detent for ground idle and then we begin to count one two three we should have a light by the time we get to 10 seconds if we don't have a light by the time we get to 10 seconds again the fuel comes back starter button stays on uh, just to make sure that we don't have any uh, pool of fuel collecting inside the engine itself and then we will release that starter but once the engine does successfully start, we will also release the start button. And we'll see that's right around 55% NG here on our uh, gas generator speed. So the two instruments we're watching, ITT, gas generator. And uh, there should be a great correlation that you'll begin to understand as you gain experience between the rise of the ITT and the increase uh, of the speed of the NG. And uh, if those two correlations get out of sync and you get a very rapid rise on the ITT, we're going to want to just pull fuel out, continue to hold the starter button down until the engine cools down, then we'll let go of the starter button. So it's uh, it's basically just constantly holding down the starter uh, throughout the start. Okay, so here we go. There's our starter button. We see NG coming up. There's 10%. Igniters are now on. Five, four, three, two, one. One, here comes our fuel. Oil pressure's good. There goes our fuel flow. There's a light. So we got a light at about three seconds. There's our rise in ITT. 692, I let off the starter button. We're at idle. All our speeds look good. And now our generator is gonna come online. You'll see it recharging bus one. And then the alternator coming on see it charging bus 2 and we have a successful start of the LX7-20.